Hey designers, what's up? Maran Bambley here, back with another video for you. And today I want to talk to you about perspective basics and how you can do perspective in two very different ways. Uh, first way is the old regular school book way. You make your horizon line, vanishing points, and then you put your product inside of inside of that or your sketch inside of that something like this which is I mean it's a bit slow static and boring right it doesn't really feel like you're sketching because you have all these guidelines so the second second way of doing it is mm, the way I usually do is I make this cloud let's say we're making a car so you start making this cloud which your sketch is going to go into. You ha you're going to have keep this layer as a guide throughout the whole sketch. So we made our cloud or the ellipse here. And then we're starting to put out the, the axles of the car. The axles can also be the end and the beginning and the end of your product. So you, you're kind of framing the area in which you're going to sketch in. And from here we're putting out the wheels 90 degrees towards the axles uh, to get the ellipses right for the wheels. So something like this. And from here on what, what I'm doing, I'm basically just starting to design this car now because I have all my I have all my guides that I need to start working on the shape of this car keeping my center line very important to uh, to have a center line so you see how much of the sketch is going on each side of the center line Just continue to design it, play with different shapes. You still have your basic cloud or the ellipse in the background, which you keep as a guide even here. I'm basically sketching all off of the ellipse now. And make some reflections. Sketch, sketch, sketch. Just make the door. If you want, you can put section lines in there as well to describe the shape even more. And we go into detail. In some areas, I want some of the interior to show as well, so I'm going to put that in there. Right here. See the steering, steering wheel. And a few more reflections. And filling the wheels. I mean, when you do it like this, the perspective is not going to be 100% correct, but it's so much more fun and it saves you tons of time to do it this way than to put up a grid. So, step number one, <clears throat> the general shape, which in our case was an ellipse, which will serve as a guide throughout the sketch. And when you're done with this, ellipse here, you can actually delete this layer when you're done with the whole sketch because then you don't need it anymore. But keep it there until you're completely done. And step number two, <clears throat> make your center line. 
Same thing as the ellipse. You can keep it there throughout the sketch to uh, use as your guide. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, step number three is axles and wheels. In this case, of course, since we're having a car, but it can also be the starting point and the uh, the end end point of your sketch or product, whatever you're sketching. So sketch out the axles, and if you want, you can put the wheels on the other side just so you have a ref as as reference. And then final, final uh, step number four is simply start designing your product from the guidelines that you now have got from step one, two, and three. And that's that's about it for this time. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.